by the Ukene Zato entrance. Uh, Greetings, everyone. Yeah, Welcome to the second episode of Seventh Scarlet. Ah, the air is really nice here. Hino takes a deep breath and looks around. <laughs> Good tea always uh, lightens up the mood. Oh, it's so quiet and peaceful, just like the bus driver said. The streets the bus stop in is on the main street of the town. Wooden buildings reminiscent of an ancient city line the streets. Even now at summer break, there are only a handful of people walking around. It must not be well known as a tourist spot. Just then. Did he just die? Was he just being murdered? Or was it a super scary sound? I feel something move across the edge of my vision for a second. Something too big to be a person. Huh? huh? What's wrong, Ichiko? Did you just see something over there now? It went like whoosh! Yeah. No? There are people walking around. It was just probably one of them. I wonder. Even though I heard a weird sound. Well, no, anyway, let's head to the hotel. Uh, we have to check in first. That's a massive hotel. Lovely. Outside, Furikan Hotel. It takes about 10 minutes to walk there. We can see the hotel before us. Furikan Hotel. The small hotel will be safe. Small! Are you going there, small? It's huge! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I don't know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rooms, probably at the back side as well, so that's let's say 22, maybe this is like a spent house or a tea room, 22 rooms is not small! The building has a great atmosphere to it. There's a door here, damn it's not opening, is this not the right door? There's like only one door, dude. There's like one the main entrance. I think this is the entrance. Oh, let me quickly go see if there's another entrance. Uh, wait here a bit. Hino runs off, leaving me all alone. I lean back on the door, gazing out to the small garden. Everything's so green. It's wonderful. A bird chirps. The cicadas buzz. All the sounds mixes together to create a noisy harmony. Before long, the noise grows distant, and I feel as if it has stopped. Huh? Has it really? I feel a piercing case on my back, and I quickly turn around. That was way too intense way too intense we've got a stalker her eyes meet the, there's something in the shadow of the trees a little ways away its eyes are staring straight at me who, who who's there i finally find my voice although it's shaking <coughs> suddenly the hotel door springs open, causing me to follow my butt. I it's the voice from the beginning. Don't you stand there, you're in the way. Huh? Oh, Don't block the entrance. Other people use this door as well. Use your brain. That's the voice of a killer. Huh? Is he mad at me? Hi, are you listening to me? Oh, what? oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I was just looking at... L looking at... Oh, that's right. Someone was... Huh? No one's there. The shadow has vanished. I thought of... For sure something was over there. Yare, yare. Natsuno hizashi ni yararete maboroshi ka. I don't like this dude's vibe at all. Good grief. Is the summer sun making you crazy or something? I've had enough of this. He says venomously, walking away in the direction we came. What in the world just happened? 
A strange gaze and a jerk. I didn't imagine that case, did I? Oh, Ichiko! Hey, Ichiko! I couldn't find any other entrances. Oh, wait, what, what are you doing on your, on your butt? One second, can I... Save. There we go. Oh, I, I guess the door is open. I say, only able to manage a wry smile in response. Saki, Did uh, something happen to you earlier? Oh no, uh, it's nothing. I just, I just tripped. I find myself lying, not wanting to worry Hino. No, no, but you opened the door well. Well, I hope, I hope that's all it is, but how did you get the door open? Does it not fit right in the frame or something? Uh, oh, the inside's so amazing. Uh, it looks like it belongs to a modern Japanese history textbook. If I tell him the truth, he'll only worry more. Gyofu architecture, huh? Hmm, never thought I'd see a western-style building here. Was imagining some worn-out old place, but what a relief. He says, looking up at the vault-like ceiling. Still. The building's magnificent, but there's no one around. There isn't even anyone at the front desk. Let alone any other guest. What's going on? So weird. Ah, hey! Over there! Are you the guests coming to stay here today? Yeah, yeah, we are. I work at the Furin Cafe, which is immediately attached to this hotel. Here, take this if you like. The young man dressed as a chef hands him and me a flyer. Sweet a sweet tasting party? So, so. Cafe de Hambaisri. Yeah, I'm having a tasting party for the new sweets. I'll be selling at the cafe. You come, you can come for free. The drinks will be on the house as well. You cook and hand out flyers all at the same time? Thank you for noticing that. And uh, say... It's not that we're short on staff, it's that we've never had anyone to begin with. I mean, uh, I'm the only one here, you know. This owner is really bad. The owner of this hotel is super strict. I'm managing the cafe all by myself right now. Wow, all by yourself? Ah, DNA. That's kinda nuts, the owner must be the worst. <gasps> Is it this guy? Hearing the word owner suddenly reminds me of a scary guy I encountered by the entrance. No, it couldn't be. How do I minimize? But the tasting party can we can attend for free. That sounds awesome, I would love to go and visit. <laughs> There's a summer festival two days from now, so I'm thinking of having it that day after the day after that. It's a bit of a wait, but I'll guarantee it's gonna be amazing. So, uh, you won't wanna miss it. Yeah, Oops, I, I gotta get back. Oh, and the front desk is over there. Okay, I'll see you at the tasting party. Bye! There's no one at the front desk. The young man says, and then he runs off. That's kind of rough, I must say. Are they short on people because they're out here in the boonies? How do they keep this hotel going? And then, there were none.
ここのスタッフは客を放置するのが好きらしいなさっきのコックにスタッフを呼んできてもらえばよか I guess the staff here likes to leave guests to themselves, I guess. We should have gotten that chef to call. Oh, I'm sorry. How long have you been waiting here? I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, we reserved two rooms under、uh, Kagutsushi. Jitsuwa, Mada Ohea no Goyoi ga dekte nakte. Yoroskeleba, Onimotsu o Azkari Stio Kimasno de Skoshi Machio Arkarete wa Ikaga de Shao. Actually, your rooms aren't ready yet. Apologies. We can store your luggage here if you'd like, and perhaps you can take a short walk around town. Majika Shinko na Hito de Busok dana. Hidoi owner ga yatotte krenai karaka? Seriously? Are you really short on people? It's because the terrible owner won't hire more. So, Nandisio! Yes! I'm not a front of a car in a no ni, Saki wa kaida shi ni mo ika sarete. Yeah, I'm supposed to be working from the front desk, but it just sends me to do some shopping. Did. Do. Dos de sere o? Uh, wait, how do you know? Nanda tsuboska? Honto taijovu kayo kono hotel. Did I hit a nail on the head? Is this hotel really gonna be okay? Wait, guys, how did I minimize the text? I got a looking for a button to minimize. Ah, that's how I minimize the button. Let's shake her outfit. Yeah, it's kind of typical maid outfit, I would say. Very, very typical. Nothing all too special. Do like the flowers in her head. Okay, okay, let's continue. There we go. So, what you want to do, Ichiko? We we don't have a choice if the rooms aren't ready. Let's walk around a little bit. その辺散歩してくるわ。Right, okay. we'll、just, uh, go for a ありがとうございます。多分一時間もあればお部屋もご用意できていると思いますので。Thank you so much. I think we'll have your room set in an hour. ひどいオーナーにこれ以上仕事増やされないことを祈ってるよ。I'll be praying that jerk of an owner won't give you any more work. <笑>いってらっしゃいませ。<笑> have a good time. Main Street. The Main Street. Main streets run through town, like clouds covering a secret moon, crescent moon. On the east end is the bridge we crossed earlier, and on the west end is the tunnel the bus driver was talking about. The town extends to the north and south, south are full of old elegant buildings, while ancient houses lead up to the mountain in the north. Did my brother walk along these very streets? What was he thinking when he came here? Oh my, it's okay. If you're feeling bad, ホテルに戻って休んでもいいんだからな。You are you right? If you're not feeling well, we can go back to the hotel and rest. Such a caring guy. I'm sorry, I'm I'm fine. I was just lost in thought a little bit. お前のボートには慣れてるけど、あまり心配させんなよ。この街はお前の兄貴が消え。I'm used to you spacing out and all, but just don't worry like that. You know, your brother vanished in a. in a. you know. In a quickly stops and clears his throat to change the subject. Oh, Menuki Doriwa, Chotto Sta Shotengai ni Natter and Dana. Oh, look, there's a little small shopping area here on the main street. Yeah, there is. There is a bunch of cute shops too. And、uh, aren't all wood with tile roofs? Hotel da ke kiyo fu te wake ja na kotta no ka. Hmm. I guess it isn't only the hotel that has a western style to it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, this shop looks nice! Let's go here! Bumbog ya! Jimmy da na! A stationary store? What the hell is a stationary store? It looks like you can choose different colors and designs to get your own notebook! Eh! Ore datta ra sakka ball no eo ire ruka na! Hmm, I'll probably get a soccer ball pattern! Why not put some cute characters on it? Ah, ma! Typical guy thing. Well, yeah, you know, cute things aren't really my thing. I lead him around, though he isn't very interested in shopping. And we go to a bunch of stores. Even so, he never looks unhappy. He comments on whatever I choose, seeming to enjoy himself. I know exactly what kind of things you like. Really? That would be amazing if it were true. It's true, alright? 
ちょっとあっち向いたらよ。Wanna test it out? Then, uh, here, turn away for a second. He says, turning his back to me in front of a store that sells accessories. What are you, what are you doing? これでよしとほら、見てみろよ。There we go. Okay, take a look. There are three accessories lined up on the shelf. いちこ、この中だと、どれがお前の好みだ Which one of these do you like best, いちこ They're all so cute and handmade too. いや、それじゃ当てられねえだろ。どれか一つだよ。ほら。No, no, no, it won't work like that. You have to pick one. Go on now. Crescent moon pen and purple flower hair ornament. White cat brooch. Mmm, purple flower. Oh, but she already has her purple flower hair ornament. Are they gay? Is the game giving us secret hints? She already has one. Do we go for, we go for this one? Oh, and even the sign. Yeah. Purple flower hair ornament. Hmm. This one, it's pretty. It's a beautiful purple flower hair ornament. I feel like it's sticking in a distant memory. You've always loved the red color. Yeah, but I like purple a lot too. And the shape of the flower is cute. Do you think it would look good on me? Well, something here certainly is beautiful. Huh? Anyway, I thought you'd probably choose that one. Really? Well, yeah, I told you I can pretty much predict what you're going to do, didn't I? Saying it doesn't make it true. So no tori. Kuchida wa nanto demo yere yo na. Sa. Exactly. Saying one thing and proving it is another. Now look at what I have in my hand. Ta da! You know he's holding the same accessory that I chose. Huh? Were you holding that before I picked it out? Omae ga erabu to omotta kara na. Chanto atatte ta daro. Well, yeah, because I knew what you'd pick this one. And I was right, wasn't I? Wow. He really did know which one I'd choose. Am I that simple? How is that? Amazing, right? Yeah, it is, but I don't know. You don't know what? Am I that easy to read? Well, you know, I know everything about you, so. Everything? I, uh, その... No, I mean, just, I mean, I've known you for such a long time, and I almost know everything, almost. Hmm. Still, it's pretty amazing. I have no idea what Hino likes. Yeah, she has her mind in the clouds, not thinking about boys. Thinking about her brother mostly, probably, which is a shame, of course, but, um, yeah. yeah Ichiko, uh, Hino seems like a pretty chill guy. Seems. He does have those... I don't know, red violent, I don't know. What's with his eyes? I don't know. What does Sina like anyway? Sometimes he gets obsessed with strange things, but that was such a surprise. You're awesome, Hino. Oh, oh finally being honest with me, huh? Want me to stroke your head? You're already stroking it. It's fine, right? No harm in getting pet. Oh, so he's going through her hair. Nice, cute. Oh, beauties. Oh, the cuties. This touch makes me feel strange. It tickles a bit, but it also relaxes me. Oh. Now you have to come with me to a store that I want to go to. He says, pulling my hand. What? Ah! A souvenir shop. So they are You've got to come to one of these at least once while you're on vacation. By the way, what's this town famous for? Let's have a look around. Hmm, I don't know. But there's a strange character all over the store. A mountain of souvenirs extend out in the front of me. Most of a character I've never seen before on them. There are even stuffed animals along the wall. 
It's a... Panda? A panda? A panda! Ah, I've seen these on Okazami's Supernatural Club website. I think it's a town mascot. いわゆるご当地キャラってやつだな。いやしかしこれ可愛い。あいやなんとも。おでこに三日月貼られてるぞ。Like a costume character, huh? Oh, yeah, it's pretty cute. Uh, I mean, I mean, it has crescent moon on its forest and all that. It's kind of cool. それはね、この町のシンボルキャラクターなのよ。オクネパンダってんだ。that's the symbolic character of this town. It's called the Okuno Panda. Ah, so so. Okuno Panda. The. Oba san, kono mise no hito ka? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The Okuno Panda. Oh wait, do you run the store, madam? So yo. Ta i mukashi ni kono yorozu ya o hiraite kara konna ni ninki no deta shoufin wa nakatta yo. Yes, I do. Uh, there hasn't been a more popular item since the store opened long, long ago. This panda is not famous. Indeed. Internet always does the trick. Someone in this town drew it a few years back and oh, posted it on the interwebs. Is she talking about the internet? That's an interesting word for it. So, she told her, Kiko, Ninki got a chatamita, you know? Dakedo, Konomachi was a skinny or mitomatanakte, eh? And then it became pretty popular. But the town hasn't officially recognized it yet, so it's Okanizato's unofficial mash cut. Oh, really? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. We still don't know who designed it, though. It seems to get cuter every second. I think I'll get this charm. Ma, ma, so you are able to? Nanka shinkin kan wa itekita na. Ore mo kau ka? He likes pants. He doesn't want to admit it. Well, now that you mention it, I do feel you know, a certain affinity for it. Maybe I'll buy one of these, you know, hand puppets. My daddy! Thank you kindly! And uh, that uh, Okune Panda eraser too, please. Thank you! Then, Okune Panda Sugoroku. He is a big fan of it and he didn't want to tell it. And that Okune Panda dice game. Hey, you know. Exactly how much are you going to buy? <clears throat> oh, Scratch uh, the dice game, madam. You got it. So let the Oh, you got it. Oh, also, if you're lucky, you might see someone in Okina Panda costume by the bridge over there. Seriously? But. What? The truth is, no one knows who's in it. Is it one of Okunezato's seven mysteries? Well, all of a sudden, one day, it appeared by the entrance of the town. Sometimes, its mouth is dyed crimson with blood. Yeah, yeah, Obasa. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. But as soon as you can see someone in a costume, you might just get a glimpse of him. Obasa, this road is a little bit more detailed. Madam, could you please tell us a little bit more about the bridge? Ah, yeah. Not I want to see that guy in a costume or anything. He's going to there again, guys. That's just a straight up to there. I mean, it's not like he's famous or anything, right, Ichigo? Uh, hey, what's wrong, Ichigo? Oh, sorry, this poster. I'm gazing at a poster on the wall. Auk Zero. A concert? He's going to play a concert in Okinazato. Ah, kore ne. Saki kite ta onna no ko mo kono poster o shiboroku mitsumete ta kedo. Sono ko yume na no kai? Oh, that? 
A young lady came in earlier was staring at the poster too. Is that guy famous? ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
My field of view lurches. My field of vision lurches. Ah! I lose my balance and my feet leave the stepladder. I start falling backwards. Oh no! I close my eyes and brace myself for an impact. The next thing I, lo I know is like I'm floating. What? Ah! It didn't hurt? For a second, I have no idea what happened. <gasps> a handsome hunk! A handsome hunk! When I open my eyes, I see a guy that's now holding me. <gasps> Jealousy incoming! Jealousy incoming! Jealousy incoming! Ooh! Jealousy! Which book are you looking for? What? Uh, he's really handsome. And he's staring right at me. Oh no, she didn't say that he's, that uh, he knows handsome. Oh no. I get embarrassed and look away. If you tell me, I can get it for you. Oh, uh, sorry. The Okunisato walking guide. I pointed the book in certain. This one? He says checking to see what the book is. And dropping his gaze back to me. It's a good thing you didn't fall. Your face is a little bit red. Do you have a fever by any chance? A guy that now is holding me in his arms. And his face is getting even closer. Uh, I'm caught in a vicious cycle as my face gets even redder. You don't seem to have a fever. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Yeah? He says putting me down. <gasps> he reaches out, grabs the book I want from the shelf and hands it to me. Oh yeah, he looks kinda cool. He's got that smart ass look in his eyes. And a little bit mysterious, that certain calmness as well. Mm -hmm. Then he reaches out. I take it hesitantly. Thank you so much. You really helped me out here. Tasukatta. Helped you out? He looks at me harshly. That doesn't constitute as help. What? Goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh. He says briskly leaving the store. Now that I'm alone, it seems like my face might burst into flames for embarrassment again. But he was so nice. Oh! Now that I think of it, I wonder if he lives here. I should have asked his name. The guy but your brother is pretty thin actually. This probably has the same info as the pamphlet. What? Oh, you're right. I was so flustered. I... Flustered? Uh... The book was hard to reach and I fell. Oi, oi, Seriously? I should have gone to the bookstore with you after all. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, this shrine wasn't wasn't in the pamphlet, was it? No, no. I'm not sure. Okay, the shrine, huh? Shirohebi I'm not sure. Look in the shrine, huh? Hmm. Also known as the White Snake Shrine. A white snake? Which has a spirit incarnate, has nails to a tree and enshrined. Man, that's gross. It says the shrine was used to be somewhere else long a time ago, but uh... What was that? We turn to the direction of the scream and see a man lying face down on the ground. A number of cats are gathered around him, licking him. What is this, guys? What is this for a situation? All handsome hunks gathering all together suddenly at once. Why is he surrounded by cats? Oh, uh, there's food scattered around. That must be why. Hey, shoo, shoo, shoo. Stop, that's mean. 
猫に埋もれてるんだぜ。でスピリッツに関しては、かないだろう We can't just leave him there. But they're licking his cheek. It's kind of cute. そういう問題じゃねえだろ。That's not the problem here. He got up. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Alrighty guys, I'm going to save here. This was a nice, a nice chapter. I couldn't find any entrances. Let's save. Okay. Okay, guys, this was interesting. What a turn of events. We got some handsome hunks that's starting to appear in this picture. Ooh. If we can choose, what way will we even go? Exciting! You can leave comments, guys, if you have some preferences on handsome hunks. But anyways, thank you much for watching this episode. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good day, everyone.